Hello everyone. So I have part two of my book haul um, from the library sale, um, a local library sale. So today I'm going to show you the reference books and music books that I was able to purchase. So let's get started. So um, in the past couple of times that I've done, I've gone to the book sales, I didn't really pick up any foreign language books and I kind of regretted it. So this time I always, I made it a point to pick some up. So I was lucky to find some English Japanese or basically Japanese books. Um, this was the first one that I found. It's a pocket dictionary. Um, I just plan on using it for my collage work. Um, and you know, I guess for junk journals too. So it's just this really small one. I was kind of hoping for a bigger one, but that's okay. Um, this will work. So I got that. I was able to find a um, French translation, English to French and vice versa. Um, <clears throat> this one, I like the paper in this. So yes, I'm still, I'm gonna also use this for my collage work. It's, uh, it's pretty thick and it comes with one of those covers that, you know, they don't crease and stuff. So I also found some Spanish ones. Um, this one I'm not gonna tear up right away because this one is a brief Spanish grammar. It's obviously a um, textbook. Let me show you the spine, okay. And it's pretty old, let's see here. This was printed in 1922. Oh. So I can go ahead and copy, make copy, I mean, uh, scan it and upload it if I want to. Um, but yeah, I'm going to probably read through this. I took three years of, high, of uh, Spanish in high school. Um, by the time I was in my third year of Spanish, I was already, I guess you could say fluent. You know how it is when you're in language class in high school. Once you get into second year of it, you're not allowed to speak English in the class. So yeah, by the third year, I was pretty pretty good at speaking Spanish. I remember at some point, I started having dreams in Spanish. So, but sadly enough, after high school, um, I didn't speak it. I didn't have anybody to speak it with. So I pretty much forgot <clears throat> all that vocabulary that I, we had to learn. Um, I still remember grammar wise, you know, the structure of it and the conjugations. So that's why I kind of wanted to read this, you know, and there is another one that I have to kind of refresh my memory. I was lucky enough to find this um, French grammar book. So this one was published in 1942. I took French in college. I took one year made the mistake of taking it like right after I'd done three years of Spanish. And for some reason, <laughs> I had a hard time because I kept um, confusing the words. Like there's similar words in French there, you know, that are, they have in Spanish, only that the pronunciation is different. And I just, I could not seem to pick, I couldn't grasp the um, pronunciation for French. I kept wanting to say it in Spanish. So yeah, I want to kind of go back and like relearn again. Um, like I said, I only took one year and I made the stupid mistake also, and did a lot of stupid mistakes, um, of taking Russian at, in the same um, year. Like I'd never learned any Russian at all. And everybody in my class, except for me had taken Russian before in high school. So I was at a complete disadvantage. Everybody was like so much more far advanced and this is supposed to be like Russian one, a one, you know? So I didn't learn anything in that class. I just, I should have just dropped it. So anyways, got that. And then I have this, another one, basic French reader. Um, this is all the way from Minneapolis. So let's see here. This one was published in 1964. So it's yet, this one looks like it's a little bit more, um, I would say this is probably already like French three because it's all just um, probably translation from French and then you have to translate it to English. Um, there's not really anything in here in terms of like for conjugation. So 
I could probably just cut that book up. I could have sworn I had another French book, but I don't know where it is. But either way, those are the foreign language books. Yeah, I know I do. Because, hold on one second, I'll be right back. And I'm back. I knew I had more books. <laughs> That's a sign when you, when you have too many books. You can't find the rest of the uh, stack. Okay, so we're still on reference books or language books. Uh, my friend Clarissa said she needed a dictionary, so I picked this one up, a uh, paperback, nice old dictionary. So gonna send her that. Found another pocket Japanese dictionary. See, I knew I had more than just one. Um, and it's like the other one, the French one, with that kind of a cover that doesn't, um, you know, crease. This one, I don't know, I might keep this one, I'm not tear it up see. Um, I was able to get a German-English dictionary and vice versa. Um, this one would be good to um, cut up. Then I was able to find some manga. Um, <coughs> this one's pretty old. I'm, uh, I'm going to use it to, um, to cut up. I mean I could use Google Translate to translate what's going on in this. It's pretty old. As you can see. So, got that. Found another Japanese book. And this one is just all, you know, kanji. So, I'll tear this one up. I have no idea what it's about, but I'll translate it. Um, and then I found this book on Japan. It just says Japan. And it's a pretty vintage one. This was from Shelby County Schools here in Memphis. And this was printed in 1957, printed in the, Nether in the Netherlands. So this one has stories. I'm not going to tear this one up. Stories and like history will be really interesting to read. Okay. And then the last one here, see I knew it. I knew I had a Spanish book. This one is actually the one I think I'm going to use or rather read um, to freshen up my Spanish. 1957, 1964, yeah, definitely. Because um, as you can see here, shows like the grammar and then of course the conjugation. Um, oh, it brings back memories. Okay, so those are the language books that I was able to pick up. So let's move this over. And now I'm going to show you the books or uh, stuff that's related to music. This year they didn't have a very big selection. So this first one here is Practical Music Lessons Part 1 and 2. Uh, it's just got various songs in there. This is definitely one that will be torn up. I will probably give half of it to my friend Clarissa. I found some more songbooks. This one right here, Christmas in Song. And this one is really nice. Um, not sure when the copyright was because once again I still haven't looked up about the Roman numerals to refresh my memory, but um, yeah. I might just make photocopies of this and then, you know, collage because this is really nice. It's got all the classic songs. And then we have here Songs Everybody Loves. It's volume four. Um, doesn't say when it was published, but I think the same thing with this. I'll probably just make copies. Okay. Um, they had a ton of like hymn books. Um, or, you know, church song books. This one is Great Songs of the Church. It's pretty old. It's from Lawndale, California. And this one, this is the 1949 edition. So, I don't know what kind of church this is for. But, yeah, this one, it's got that nice smooth paper. Definitely um, cut this one up use that. 
I like this one right here because it was vintage looking. Um, this was it. Actually, I think it was in the children's book section. The vintage children. Um, music near and far. Also, again, uh, property of Memphis City Schools. And 1962. So, look at that. Wonderful illustrations. I might just um, make copies of this instead of cutting it up because I really like the way it looks. Okay. Then we have Discovering Music Together. Okay. Also from Memphis City Schools. And what year was this published? 1966. So, same thing. Camtown races. <laughs> yeah. Make copies of this. <clears throat> we have some, like, this was all in the, like, piano instrument section. Um, I don't know when this was published. But this one will be good for junk journals. Okay. Achievement orchestra folio. Yeah, there were a lot of like for orchestra um, type of sheet music. So it's just really nicely brown, you know, turn brown. Okay. Advancement orchestra, another one. And then um, Rubank Exhibition Orchestra Folio. So, you know, and this is all from the the, uh, the bag sale. So, I went back a total of um, two times. I went on a Thursday, and then I went on Saturday, which was the last day. By Saturday, <clears throat> it was five dollars a bag. So. <coughs> I grabbed a lot and just, you know, stuff. Actually, I didn't grab a lot. I grabbed, you know, I didn't fill up the bag, but I did grab a lot of like stuff like this. So, and then we have just regular sheet music here. 1929, copyright. So, cause I thought, you know, why not? Because I can use them for collage work. This one, not 1954. Blue of the Night, this one, some of them were already falling apart, 1931. When Mother Played the Organ, I thought this was a funny picture. Um, 1932, and 50 Songs for Children, look at that, it was 29 cents, this whole booklet here. This one definitely not tearing up because it's just really cute. And this is from 1964. Look at that, it's in color. So, I can make, make copies of it. Really like this one. And nursery songs. So, this is probably a little bit more recent. Oh, 1972, I'm sure. So, Humpty Dumpty, Hey Diddle Diddle. Yeah, make copies of those. So, that's the end of the haul here for part two. Um, I still have another um, stack of books to show. Next coming up are kind of an assortment of books and um, other things. And then um, I'm filming this now on a Thursday. The main library has their sale Saturday, which I plan on going. It's um, I'm not sure how much it's going to be, but I'm going to bring one of my nieces with me to help me go through some books. Um, you know, it'll. It'll just be easier if I tell her, okay, this is what I'm looking for. So she can just like pull stuff and then bring it to me and show me while I'm going through stuff. Um, and also for her to be able to get more books for her and her sister and her brother. So um, I'm going to be even more selective with what I'm looking for at the main library. Um, it should be a bigger selection because they're pulling donated books from all the libraries in Shelby County. Um, but yeah, um, I'm probably going to look for um, some more, you know, language dictionaries 
and um, more sheet music, I guess. Uh, what else? And then I guess like just certain subjects, like um, maybe some gardening. And um, I don't know. We'll have to see just based off of what they had. Um, that sale is going to be quite overwhelming because, like I said, it's it's a pretty. They've got such a big selection. So um, yeah, and I'll film the, you know, the haul. That'll probably be like a part four. <laughs> So, and then that should be it for uh, library sales for the rest of the year. So, I hope everyone's having a great week, a great weekend, depending on when you watch this. And I'll see you again at the next haul. Bye.